Thank you for choosing the Studio Series SL150 USB condenser microphone. This is the perfect microphone for any type of vocal work, from voiceover, gaming commentary, or singing, this is the right mic for you. And in this quick start short video guide, we'll show you how to set it up on your Mac or PC. When you purchase the SL150 microphone, you'll receive it in a beautiful premium carry case, which is included with every microphone in our range. Perfect for when you need to take your microphone on the road with you, or when you just want to protect it between recordings. Open up the box and you'll see the Studio Series accessories. First up is the high quality shock mount. A shock mount is a great device which prevents knocks and vibrations getting through to your microphone. It also enables you to connect your microphone easily to any microphone stand. Secondly, you get the studio length USB cable. This is a high quality USB cable designed to offer the optimal quality for delivering audio from the microphone to your computer. And last but not least, it's the SL150 USB microphone, your new broadcast grade USB studio condenser microphone. It's beautifully simple and features just one USB port. The first thing you'll need to do is to set up your new shock mount. Make sure that all of the elasticated shock bands are joined to the connectors. This prevents any vibrations transferring through to your microphone. If you have a thread adapter inside your shock mount, take out the thread adapter with a coin and connect to your mic stand. This shock mount works with any stand you may own and more on the market with any standardized thread adapter. Next, you'll need to put your microphone into the shock mount. All you need to do is press and release these two catches, then push down onto the microphone until it rests tightly in the cradle. The microphone wants to sit in this position. Next, you'll want to connect the USB cable to your microphone. Simply take the square end of the cable and connect this end to your microphone. And then connect the regular sized end of the cable to any USB port on your Mac or PC. If you're using a tower PC, we recommend using the ports on the back of your PC tower. Once connected, the handy blue light should come on to show you that the microphone is working and drawing enough power. Next, we'll need to make sure that your microphone is selected as the input device on your computer. Let's show you how. First, go to your Windows system settings, which can be found in the charms bar in Windows 8 or the start menu of Windows 10. Within settings, you'll need to look for the devices menu. Usually, you'll find printers are at the top of the menu here, but scroll down to other devices and you should see that your microphone appears here, under the name of Editor's Keys or USB Microphone. Next, you'll want to make sure the microphone is set up as your default input device and the levels are correct. So, go to your control panel or run a search to find control panel quickly. Once you're in the control panel, scroll down and click Hardware and Sounds. Then, manage audio devices. Usually, when this dialog box opens, it will take you to the Playback tab first. You'll need to click along to the Recordings tab. In this tab, you'll see your new USB microphone, which you'll need to make the new default device. Then, go to the Levels to make sure it's set at the correct level. We recommend around 80%. Once this step is complete, click Apply and then open your recording software of choice. Here we're using Audacity. Make sure that the microphone is selected as the input device within the software and you should be good to go. Hit Record to make sure the levels are recording at an acceptable level. And that's it. Happy recording.